welcome back to my channel the machine brain okay today we will discuss about uh, association rule mining okay so far we have discussed about so far we have discussed the data preprocessing and uh, uh, characteristics of uh, data mining and uh, advantages and disadvantages and uh, types of data mining and the steps involved in data preprocessing okay right and uh, today we will discuss association rule mining and the uh, methods involved in association rule mining okay first uh, what is association rule mining okay first frequent item sets also known as association rules right okay um, for example consider uh, data sets the data sets contains what uh, bread butter and uh, another milk uh, and biscuits not only biscuits and we'll go for electric lights uh, computers and anything else clocks so these are all the data sets okay here bread butter or bread butter milk okay consider bread butter okay these are the frequently item sets that the buy buying of the customers okay the most of the customers will buy what if, you, if they buy bread they also buy butter right right or if they buy if they buy milk they also buy bread okay there's a frequently item sets that they buy uh, that they buy it by that they buy by the customers okay And next, the goal of association rule mining is to identify the relation between the items in the data sets that occurs most frequently together. Okay, here yeah. association rule. The main goal is to find or is to identify relation between these data sets in items in the data sets and the, that occurs frequently together. Okay, this um, for the first transaction. Let's consider the first transaction. You will buy bread and butter, and these are all items. And next transaction, that means next time, you will same buy bread and butter and another clothes. Okay, remaining data sets. Here, frequent letters what is the bread and butters? Bread and butter. Okay. Here, you will find the relation between the items in a data sets. Okay. Here you will find the relation between the bread and butters and the remaining items in a data sets. Okay, that's all about uh, association rolling, rolling mining. It's only find wish to find identify relation between the items that are frequently together and the other data items in a data sets. Okay, first we'll discuss about frequent item sets. Okay, it is set of items that occur together frequently in a data sets. Right. Already discussed the set of items that occurs frequently in a data sets like bread and butter or bread and milk or both bread, butter and milk. Okay, and it is measured by support count. It is here frequent item set is measured by the support count for X. We'll denote a support count by X. Okay, for example, if, uh, also for the first transaction. Bread and butters, uh, bread and but butter is one time. And next transaction also, bread and butters occurs. Okay, this is the second. Here yeah, support count is two. If the if the other other transaction, the same repeat, it's also considered three. Okay, I hope you understand. Okay, I will discuss later briefly about in appropriate algorithm and uh, I'll discuss later this methods association. Okay. Mm, and here frequent item sets and association rules can be used variety of tasks tasks such as here in association rule mining we use some of the tasks what are the tasks market bucket analysis cross selling and uh, recommendation sellers these are all there etc first we will discuss this uh, market uh, market bucket analysis okay yeah Okay, first before going to association rule mining algorithms, uh, what are the methods involving? First, we will discuss market bucket analysis. Okay, the process of analyzing customers buying habits by finding the association between the different items that a customer will place in a bucket. Okay, for example, let us consider if you go for a D Mart or any kinds of Mart. Okay, we can you can take a bucket or trolleys. Okay, here you will buy the items. Okay. Here, 
you will buy variety of items like uh, frequent items or uh, another items yeah it tells about the it finds the association between the different uh, these items okay for example let us consider the uh, first to be one transaction consists of mcb as a data items in the data sets and mpz and b3 mb b4 cz b5 mpb b6 mc bz b7 c comma b comma z b8 b comma c okay here you need to find out the minimum support okay minimum sub here minimum support uh, three is how means let us consider frequent item sets okay here m how many times occurs one two three four five okay five times occurs next is c one two three four five is also five and b is six j is four m comma b m comma a one two three four okay four times occurs and c comma b is four j comma c is three here least count is what least minimum support is what three okay we'll discuss this uh, support and confidence later okay and these are about uh, market bucket analysis and it is useful for the sellers to place uh, items in a uh, in a in a store okay um, here also some of the strategies used in a market bucket uh, in a general stores like um, items together which is need of for example if uh, bread and bread and butter right these are all placed in a uh, together will place together other under, under option is what if you place one end of the bread and another is like this is row if you place one end as bread other another end butter okay here we will place another another items like uh, biscuits uh, costly biscuits or anything else or uh, any um milk let us consider anything so okay here yeah, if you buy bread you need to buy butter right and when you going from bread to butter we'll check all these items and uh, we'll take anything else okay um, among biscuits and milk uh, will buy anything else between these bread and butter okay it helpful for what is the, the some of the strategies like placing um, together or else placed one end one end to another end okay this is useful for the sellers okay this is market bucket analysis and uh, uh, next uh, association rule mailing algorithms okay there are mainly two methods okay one is appropriate algorithm and another is effic growth frequent pattern growth okay Fre frequent pattern growth algorithms okay this is used to find the frequent item sets and generate association rules okay it, these algorithms are useful for to find out the frequent item sets and generate association rules here okay Mm, next video we'll discuss these uh, mm, these algorithms okay before going to these algorithms you need to you need to know about what is support and confidence okay and here frequent patterns are represented by association rules okay we already know the frequent patterns are represented by the association rules okay let us consider the example that is computer and antivirus okay here if you go for a shop will buy computer right as well as with the among with the computer you, you will buy antivirus also okay and here computer and also you will buy antivirus software okay here support is 2% and confidence is 60% okay i will discuss what is support and confidence here before let us discuss is support and confidence definition okay here and the formulas here identifies how frequent a rule is applied to a given data sets here support means we'll discuss uh, how frequently a rule is applied to a given data sets okay given data sets it discuss the frequency of rule how it is 
i and phi okay like that here formula is support of p comma p tends to q is sigma of p union q by n here n means total transactions in a general store in a any mart okay here it, we can also write as p of a union b probability of p of a union b okay next or you can also write support of support of a union b next confidence here defense frequently frequent occurrence of items of q in a transaction of p okay here it defines the frequency occurrence of the items of q in a transaction of p in a p transactions how many occurrence of items of q it defines okay here formula is confidence of p comma p tends to q is p given by a or sorry p given by q by p and here or we can also write it as p of a union b by p of a or support of p union b by support of p of a sorry a union b or else um, support of p union q by support of p these are the followings and these are the formulas okay next here support is two persons right yes support is what the number of the transactions that both that both the computer and antivirus buy among the all the transactions in a general store okay in general so there are uh, will buy every items right like uh, computer and antivirus and also uh, cloaks bread and milk among all the transactions among all the data items that includes uh, both computer and antivirus in a transactions in a general stores okay that are two percent only okay among all the transactions in a general store both computer and antivirus by this two persons and confidence means here it is not a general store okay here we'll consider um, among all the computer sets okay among all the computer sets among all the computer sets you will buy both the antivirus along with computer along with antivirus you buy is 60% okay now among all the transactions you buy computer as well as antivirus antivirus software okay this is 60% here it tells up uh, in a general store here among all the computer like computer based data sets okay you can buy, you will buy computer as well as antivirus as 60 persons okay here in a general store among all the all the data items you know all the transactions here also all the transaction but is computer based products and here all the products in a general stores okay mm, that's all about uh, frequent uh, examples of uh, support and conference and uh, next we will discuss appropriate algorithm and fp growth algorithm i hope you understand mm, thank you please be subscribe thank you